Hello everyone, this is DA from Me Academy and this is the second episode of the application of the Superman property or we can say that this is also an infimum property. So now today we are going to discuss about the two sets of the real numbers that if we know the relation between two sets then what we can say about the supremum or infimum of their sets. So suppose that we have two non empty subsets of R. So let A and B are two subsets of R and and we know that A is less than B for all A in A and B in B. So we know that that we have two subsets of R A and B and we know the relation between A and B or we can say that the elements we know the relation between the elements of A and B that every element of A is less than every element of B. So now the target is to show that supremum of the set A is also less than or equal to infimum of the set B. So we have to prove this inequality by using this relation of the elements of the set A and B. So if A is less than or equal to B, so this inequality A is less than or equal to B is true for all of A in this set A. If this happens, this means that B is the upper bound of the set A because if we think about a, a B, an element B, so we can say that all of the elements in A, in set A, that are small a's, is every element of the set A is less than or equal to this element B. So, so we can say that this element B is an upper bound of the set A. So B is the upper bound of the set A. So now we can think about the supremum of the set A because we have an upper bound. By the completeness property, we know that if, if A has an upper bound, then it must have a supremum. So what is the relation between the upper bound and the supremum is that supremum of the set A is always less than or equal to the upper bound. So this must be less than or equal to the upper bound B. So now we know that this inequality is also true for all B in, that, in the set B. And we make this assumption that this is true for all A in the set A. So this is true for all B in that in that set B and we know that this is an element that is less than or equal to every element of the set B so we can now apply the definition of the infimum as we have an element that is less than or equal to every element of B so this thing implies that that the set B has a lower bound so this implies that there must be an infimum of the set B as well so by definition the infimum is always greater than or equal to every possible lower bound. So is if supremum of A is the lower bound of the set B, so the infimum must be greater than of that element because that element is the lower bound and infimum must be greater than or equal to every possible lower bound of the set A. So we can write infimum of A is less than or equal to infimum of B and this is what the target was. So we have proved that if we know the relation between two sets, in a form of the elements that the set A and the set B, every element of the set A is less than every element of the set B. So we can say that the supremum of the set A is less than or equal to infimum of the set B. So we can also visualize on the number line in order to, in order to visualize it or understand it more easily. And this is true for every subset when we're talking about on the number line R. And by using this application of the supremum and infimum, we can also be able to solve many of other proofs related to this. So this is what I'm looking for most of the videos and you can subscribe to this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.